All right, now I'm on the bottom of page 369 in the Go Math textbook. Follow along. It says write an equation. So we're going to write an equation. We have to have an equal sign. I know that. For the relationship shown in the table. Then find the unknown value. So I know I need an equation, and then I'm also going to need to find this um, missing number. So y is going to be my output. It's going to be by itself. And then what am I doing to x each time? What am I doing to this number to get my y value? Okay. So let's see. What could we do to 6 to get it up to 42? Well, that's a pretty big jump. So I'm going to assume that we need to do multiplication. And let's see. Could I multiply 6 by something to get 42? Well, yeah, if you have your math facts, um, memorized, you know that 6 times 7 would give you 42. And then let's just check a couple others. If I do uh, 8 times 7, do I get 56? Yes. If I do 9 times 7, do I get 63? Yes. So we must be taking x and multiplying it by 7. Another way we can write this is y equals 7x. This also means uh, multiply by 7. So now that we know what our equation is, now we can solve for this missing number. I just have to plug in a 7 for the x, and then it's going to be 7 times 7. So here's my semicolon just to show that I'm separating my equation from my missing number. 7 times 7 is, of course, 49. Okay, let's look at number 6. So again, my output is going to be over here by itself on my equation. My input is my x, and then what are they doing to the x to get it to y? Well, it's getting smaller, so I know I'm probably going to be either dividing or subtracting. So I could subtract 16. 20 minus 16 would give me 4, but 40 minus 16 would not give me 8, and it has to work on all of them, otherwise that's not the rule. So what, what else could I do to 20? If I'm not subtracting, what could I divide 20 by to get it down to 4? Well, I could divide by 5. So my equation, x, uh, y equals x divided by 5, or I could write this as y equals x over 5. That means the same thing. Now that I know my equation, now I just need to solve for y here. I plug in 60. 60 divided by 5 is 12. Okay. All right, let's go on to the bottom two here. It says write an equation, so I know I'm going to need an equal sign again that describes the pattern shown in the table. And again, my input is on top. This is my input. This is my output. So I want my output by itself. And then my x, what am I doing to the x to get the y? What am I doing to the x to get the y? What is happening each time to get the y? So I'm going from 2 to 34, so I'm, I'm getting bigger. So I know I'm most likely going to need to add or multiply. And uh, 2 plus 32 would give me 34, but 3 plus 32 would not give me 51. So it must be multiplying. So what are they multiplying 2 by to get it up to 34? Well, that would have to be multiplied by what, 7? Let's ch or excuse me, not 7, 17, that's what I meant to say. 17, let's check that. 17 times 2, 7 times 2 is uh, 14, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, yep, it's 34. And then let's just check one more, let's do 17 times, and this time we're going to plug in a 3 for the x, and we should get 51, let's see, uh, 3 times 7 is 21, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. Yep, got 51, so it checks out. So I need to do x times 17. Another way I could write this is y equals 17x.
Okay. Same thing here They uh, in number eight. Braden is trading for a marathon. The table shows the number of miles he runs. Depends on which week of training he is in. So again, your top, this is your input. So you can think of this, even though it's a W and we need to use the variables they're using, you can think of this as your X and this as your Y. So we can put M equals, we want our Y on one side and this is considered our output. So this would be like our Y, so M equals, and then what are we doing to W each time? What do we do to three to get it up to eight? And then can we do the same thing to five and it will give us 10? Can we do the same thing to eight and it will give us 13? Can we do the same thing to 12 and it will give us 17? So I'll uh, get you started. You're getting bigger, so you're gonna need to either add or multiply and I'll let you figure out what do you need to do to W. Are you gonna add something to W or are you gonna multiply W by something? I'm gonna let you try to finish that one on your own. If you need to, rewind and kind of see how I've solved the other ones and you can get some ideas. But again, you're gonna be adding or multiplying. We do know that. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.